Hello everybody. Um, this time I will only run from this coil and uh, I put uh, a high voltage generator coil here which is just an ordinary coil one winding. Uh, you can ignore these they are just f so I can tap the coil on different positions in the winding later in, a, in another test that I will do. Uh, I'll get, out, get it up to speed and um, then I will short it and you will see that it will accelerate. It's uh, The wire in this coil, in the driving coil, is uh, 0 0.6 millimeter and this one is 0 0.25 if I rem remember correctly. So this is um, high uh, voltage, high uh, inductance compared to this one. Okay. This one will only give me about uh, let's say 8 volts uh, when it's as a um, generator and this one will give me up to what, 60, 70 volts or something. Okay so let's get this one up and running. I will start with this one as well. It's easier to get it up to speed. <laughs> Climbing about here. Okay, now we have uh, 1,400 and uh, it's still climbing. So we'll, we'll let it uh, climb a bit more. Okay, I think it's at rest now. One four six one or something. Okay. Now I will short this coil like that. Okay. It got up to one five one seven. Okay, now let's disconnect it again. Like that. Back, back down to one four six one. Okay, let's do it again. This is fun. Like that. One five two zero. And disconnect it. Back down again. One four six five one four six three. Okay, so it's just a matter of uh, the size of the wire, the length, the inductance of the coil. I guess the rotation uh, and the number of magnets makes the the, the number of magnets per second too high for this coil to have the time to react with its lens force so so when this one tries to stop the magnet from passing by it has already passed so it will push it uh, even further instead so instead of breaking it's pushing okay that's my theory anyway so just get yourself a thinner wire and the more turns and you will have just what Thane Hines is doing. I'll show it again. And stop the shorting. Okay. Thanks for watching.